guys and welcome to my channel today I'm filming something a little bit different me and my sister Lisa are going to decorate our house today for Christmas it is November 1st and I know that may be early for a lot of you guys but it's become a little tradition of ours to decorate our house for Christmas on November first so as you guys can see I have my Grinch don't kill my vibe t-shirt so very excited We're kind of getting rid of all of our fall things so let's get started so come along with me and my sister Lisa to decorate our house for Christmas we're saying goodbye to all of this <laughs> we don't have that many fall things but we do have a couple hi guys hi we are ready to decorate even though we're not ready to decorate but I really no. want to see the fruits of our labor we just want to do this and get to it let's get it over with guys this is the before as you can see we have a million boxes wrapping paper so wish us luck because it's gonna be a long day all right so we removed all of the things in the back of our couch and this is where we like to put our village so we just actually have this blanket that we cut it was like an old blanket and it looked like snow to us so we cut it and that's gonna be our snowy background our snowy ground for the village the Christmas village that we're obsessed with it's our, one of our favorite things about Christmas all right so this is the village now and all that we have to do is add the little people and the trees and that just kind of makes it come alive even more. It looks really cute, but it's still a little bit empty. So we have that little bin there with some trees and people and we're gonna fill it up. And we got little Luna here. <laughs> She's making sure that we are decorating nicely, right? Yes, Luna. <laughs> the village is coming alive, guys. We have some carolers here. Let's put them, where should we put the carolers? Maybe they're gonna go right there. All right, guys, so we set up the tree. We fluffed it out as best as we could right now. And as you can see with these flock trees, it gets quite messy. So we're gonna vacuum everything up. We're gonna start putting in our decor. Okay, so we have some actually dollar store and a Marshalls pieces here. These are great because you literally stuff them into the tree and you kind of extend the tree's thickness. So I love to use these as like fillers and they're so easy. So you literally just stuff it in and then the tree looks nice and fluffed and big. Lisa's putting right. the star up. This is a really old star from our old, old house as kids. And I kind of like it, but I'm also kind of sick of it. <laughs> but it's like nostalgic in a way and it's like vintagey. So we're still using it, but I do kind of want to find a different star maybe one of these days. We'll see. But I'm just loving the way the tree looks this year. Even though it's like the same, I feel like we like just arrange things a little bit different. So it just looks so better, yeah. pretty. I don't know, this year I'm really feeling it. Mm. My boyfriend's grandma got us this in Poland when we went in 2019 and I love it. And now I put on this tree skirt. I actually bought it last year at HomeSense and it was I think originally $40 and I grabbed it for $9 after Christmas. So it's really good to get Christmas items after Christmas, especially at like Marshalls and HomeSense because they have the best deals. So I actually love the way a tree skirt looks. We didn't have one last year. So this is like an official tree skirt and I think it looks so nice with our tree. All right guys, so I'm gonna put my little tree in my room. I actually got this from Walmart and it was $40. So very good deal and love it because it is flocked and it's so beautiful and I'm just gonna put that on and then I have a bunch of special decorations in here that I will show you guys. So here are some of my decorations for my little tree. I have this cute little J made of wood. A lot of these are actually from the dollar store. So super inexpensive and they're just like plastic. So you don't have to worry about them breaking. So these are really great for like fillers because you want your tree to look pretty nice and full. At least I do. So I have some like plastic ones here. And then in here I have my more expensive glass ones. So this one is not glass, but I love this one. I actually got it at HomeSense and it is just so pretty. So this one is actually from Venice. 
It's a little Venetian mask. And then I have a lot of these glass ones in here that I individually wrapped. So I love these. I My last uh, decorate with me for Christmas time, I showed you guys like all of my ornaments. I actually recently bought another one the other day. I saw this at the mall. It is glass and it says Noel and it is a typewriter. I actually have a pink one that I got a few years ago. That is my absolute, one of my favorite ornaments. It's a pink typewriter. So I saw this like gold bronzy one and I had to have it. Me and my sisters all got the same one. And then I also found this one at HomeSense. So this is a barn owl. So this is something special to me and you guys will probably find out soon. Well, hopefully soon, but you'll find out soon why barn owls are special to me. So I am obsessed with this one. I just love owls. So this one was $6.99 from HomeSense and it is glass. So I love this one. Those two are brand new and I'm sure I'm gonna keep buying new ones. I, every time I go to HomeSense, or home goods for you Americans that I will find these like glass ones and I'm just obsessed with getting them and picking up some new ones. Little Luna's by the tree. Hi, baby. So this is the tree, guys. It's all up. It's getting darker. So there it is. There is our village, my favorite part. We actually need to get a couple of lights because a couple of our lights in the village are out so we will get some lights to make them all shine because usually that big middle one there has the light and on the far left corner so there's a couple of lights missing but I love our village it's my favorite and we have some stockings there this is our buffet table so we have the garland there and we have some just little battery lights that I attach to the garland and it's our little nutcrackers. It looks like they're guarding the house. So I love the nutcracker. Me and my sisters used to watch the movie, The Nutcracker Prince, all the time when we were kids and we still love it to this day. So we just love the nutcracker. We have a soft spot. And then we have our advent calendars. I got these on sale at HomeSense a couple of years ago. So me and my sister Lisa have one each because we're obsessed with advent calendars. <laughs> And then we have this really cute, um, the Nutcracker, the Story Orchestra, so it actually plays music. This is the other advent calendar. And then this corner here, we just put this big old Santa and just some little trees. And that's just something cute when you walk in, you can put your shoes on that. And we have this little Santa that we put sugar inside of him, so we will be using him. <laughs> and then we also have these old vintage trees up here that light up, they are so cute. And then this is Elisa's tree. We have literally the same tree, a lot of the same ornaments, but she has a couple of different ones. And her tree is very cute. Love it. Luna is eating her food. And I love that little bed there. That is like the little Christmas pudding gingerbread house bed of Luna's. And it's just the cutest 
So there's little Lou eating her food by the fireplace. <laughs> and this is kind of like our main little centerpiece here. We have these nutcracker plates that me and my sister bought together and they're just so pretty. We're just obsessed with the nutcracker. This is one of my favorite little things that I bought. It's like a little music player and it spins. You just turn it on so it looks like an old TV and it plays different songs. You raise it, it's so cute. I just find this to be like adorable. And then I also bought this at HomeSense before. This is like one of those cute vintage trees. Like it's just like white and it is so cute. So you just like turn it on underneath. And it lights up and I just find that to be so cute. Then I have this cute owl candle. It's actually gonna probably be here all year round because I love owls and I love how it's like all white. And I do think that it is Christmassy too. So I have that there just by my TV. We also have this little centerpiece here on our kitchen table. It's pretty much the same as last year. So we just have this table runner from Marshalls and this little candle holder thing there that's also from Marshalls or HomeSense, one or the other. And guys, we have a ton of mugs. I love that Nutcracker one. That's one of my favorites. That's Santa. Have a sweet Christmas. We have a really cute Nutcracker one behind there and then even the Friends Christmas one. So we have a lot of Christmas mugs here. Good night, little Luna. Hey guys, it's the day after and I actually went to Winners with my sister Lisa and we both got this ornament. I just could not say no to it because it is so pretty. It's a hot dog and has all the pink and the gold and it was $6.99 Canadian at Winners. So I'm obsessed. It's a glass ornament and I kind of have like a little food theme in the back there. There's like fries. I have like a pizza. There's the croissant, so I just thought it would be perfect. And I think it's just so pretty. It goes with like my pink and golds. Love it. And I also got this scarf from the dollar store actually. So it was $4 and it's nice because I used it as a tree skirt. I had that other pink scarf there, but I wanted a white one just because it looks more like snow, even though the pink scarf even looked cute as well. But for $4 with the dollar store, this is like multi-purpose. You can wear it as a scarf or you could use it as a tree skirt. So that is a little hack there. And now I think that the tree looks really cute with the little white base. There's a new little hot dog. It looks so cute. Okay guys, so the addiction continues. I went out and found another ornament that I just cannot say no to. This is so cute. It's a glass owl and I just think it is so beautiful. So gotta find a spot now in the tree where it will fit. I gotta squeeze this guy in somewhere. <laughs> I found a spot for him. All right guys, so I filmed this before but we finally got the lights. I just ordered some on Amazon. The ones for these big newer houses here, like this church here is one of our new sets. Then we have some like vintage ones here like this one. But these lights were different. And as you can see, it's so nice having the whole village lit. That's another new one that was off. And then that one in the corner. They were just so pretty and the village just comes alive when everything is lit. So we are obsessed. The village is just like my favorite thing. My mom used to do one all the time. So. It's just a tradition to have a village, a Christmas village. All 
right guys, so that is the end of my vlog my decorate with me for Christmas time vlog. If you guys watched my last year's vlog, we have a lot of the same decor, but we did a couple of different things. And of course I love to like go, especially to HomeSense and buy like a couple of like little add-ons here and there as the month goes on. So there is still quite a little bit of time before Christmas. So I will be adding some certain things. So if you guys wanna like keep up with my Christmas decor, then follow me on Instagram at Julie Zalora. I usually like to show certain like cute things that I buy. So I hope that you guys like this kind of like vlog style video. So of course, if you guys are watching this, then you must love Christmas like I do. So I just love to get into the Christmas spirit. Of course, November 1st, it's very early, but it's just honestly my favorite thing to do so I could really enjoy Christmas time because they do say that the buildup is the best time. Of course, when sometimes when it's like Christmas day or Christmas Eve, it's kind of just like, okay, it feels like any like normal day, but that's why the buildup is so important. So Christmas is all about the buildup. So that's why I love to decorate early to really soak it in, especially here in Canada, because we've already had our Thanksgiving. So we're not looking forward to that. Halloween is done and now we can just focus on Christmas. So let me know if you guys like this video. If you, if I gave you any like decor tips or ideas or where to like buy certain things, you honestly don't have to spend so much money when you're decorating for Christmas. Like I said, I love HomeSense and the dollar store actually for Christmas things. You could actually find some really nice like little fillers and add-ons. So don't sleep on the dollar store. And of course, HomeSense or Home Goods in the States. It's literally my like favorite place to go. So I hope you guys like this video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.